Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Jenny. I'm from Jenny Card Designs. My YouTube channel contains content that is intended to share paper crafting tutorials and inspiration with all of you. I hope that you enjoy. Okay, so this card is going to be a clean and simple one. I've got some Gina K Designs ink and the big Hello stamp set. I've got a couple red rubber background stamps, the Gina K Designs Elegant Script, as well as the Simon Says Stamp You Matter. And then I've got a couple of layering square dies and some cardstock and a card base. So we'll start by stamping the Simon Says Stamp You Matter background stamp. And I'm going to use the Gina K Designs Soft Stone ink for that. And I'm going to turn my stamp on its back and lay it on my work surface. And I will ink up this stamp with that Gina K Soft Stone ink. And then I'm going to lay my cardstock right over top of the stamp. And then grab a scrap piece of paper, which happens to have some artwork from my kids on it. Don't tell them I used it. And then... <laughs> I'm going to cut a square out of this panel and then I'm going to dig through my scraps to find a matching gray cardstock that will coordinate with this. I pull out a few pieces and I match them up to the cardstock or match them up to the stamped image to see which one I like best and I, take, I took the darker one. So then I've got another layer for my square die. It's got a scallop border around it and I'll cut a piece of gray cardstock out. And then I'm going to put my panel with the words in it back into my Misty, and we're going to stamp some flowers over top of it. I've got Gina K Designs Grass Green Ink, and I'm going to ink up the flower stem a couple of times just to get a nice dark impression. And then I'm going to switch to one of the flowers in the stamp set, and I'm going to ink that up with Wild Lilac Ink, and I'll stamp that a couple of times as well to make sure we get a nice solid impression. And then I'm going to remove the image and the pad in my Misty. I'm going to put the scripty background stamp on the inside of my Misty, and I'm going to ink it up just in one small spot, and I'm going to stamp my flower on top of it. And then quickly, I will remove the stamp and put my Misty pad back in, along with my piece of cardstock, and stamp that flower over top, just to get some interest in my purple flower. And I do that twice. Now, when you do this, make sure you line your cardstock in the corner of your Misty. Otherwise, you will fail miserably at life like I've done here. So here I am looking at it, deciding whether or not I want to rip it up and throw it in the garbage. But I thought eh, it's not too bad. So we're just going to keep going. I've got a piece of craft foam and I'm going to put that in behind my panel. And I'm going to pop that up and adhere everything to the little gray panel. And then I'm going to use a piece of that gray cardstock scrap and stamp a sentiment from the same stamp set that says, I've been missing you. And we'll heat emboss that until it's smooth and melted. And then take it to my trimmer and trim out a little sentiment. And then I just kind of fuss around until I figure out where I want it. And then I decide I don't want it on my flower at all. And I'm going to put it on the card base. And I was happy with that. So that's it for this card. Here's a close up look at the finished card project. It's very simple. Uh, it does have a little mistake on it, but it's barely noticeable. So I think we're just gonna go with that. Okay, moving on to the next project. We're going to use some scraps in the next project. I've got a little piece of that Simon Says Stamp You Matter background stamp left over, and we're going to use that. And I've also got this strip of cardstock from a 12 by 12 layout I did in a previous video. So I'm going to make a, a little card out of this. So I'm going to trim this down and get the panel with the flowers adhered to a pink card base. So then I decided I just wanted to add some sparkly peel off stickers. So I just grabbed one from my stash and I was going to lay it down and then I decided I don't trust myself. So I grabbed my T-square ruler and got my peel off sticker lined up and then trimmed off the edges. And then I put this piece of cardstock in the center of my card and I felt like it needed something else. So I went to my scrap bag and I dug through to find a matching piece of pink cardstock. 
and then I'll adhere this panel to my pink panel and then I'll take this to my trimmer and get it all trimmed out. I'm trying to decide what sentiment I want to use for this one and I decided on the Gina K Designs Hugs die and I'm going to die cut the word hugs out of that same pink cardstock scrap and then I will get that adhered down to my panel. I'll use my reverse tweezers to give me an extra hand and then I'm going to use a little bit of craft foam to pop up my sentiment and adhere that down just a little bit to the right of my card. Then I'm going to grab some white pearls and I'll just sprinkle those around my card and I'll use some adhesive and my jewel picker and place those down scattered around and then that's it for this card. Here's a close-up look at the finished card project. Okay, and that's it for today's video. Here's a look at the two projects that we made here today. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you like the content that I've shared with you here today, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Coming up on screen are a few videos that I think you may enjoy. So have yourself a lovely day and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!